Hello everybody and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4. We are here in Hollow Bastion. It seems that, well, Merlin was being a attacked? Kind of? I don't even, I don't even really know, but we have a book here. Let's go ahead and examine this book, shall we? Sorrel! Cover for me, okay? And we find ourselves in the Hundred Acre Wood. But it appears it's a little bit different. Looks like it's got some pop-ups. Yep, it sure does now. I wonder if Pooh's home. So it's a little bit different than the world that we remember. It's very, very similar, though, in the fact that we have our hit. And we no longer have attack, but hit. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see if Pooh's home. Mr. Sanders, Bernie Sanders. Our Lord and Savior. A hundred acre wood. I love hundred acre wood. I love the music. I love the art style, especially of that, like, the world thing there. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So you will notice right off the bat that there is a, uh, 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 uh awakening here. And we can't actually use our drive form because we don't have anybody with us. So we can't actually get that yet. Uh, just thought I would point that out that you can't actually you can't actually grab that because of course we don't have Donald or Goofy with us. Right there we are able to get some some decent items. That mithril stone is gonna be super useful. Right here we can grab a map as per usual, which is the hundred acre wood map, a map of the area. Uh, and then we can cool talk to Boo. We can see right here, he probably meant to write ring the bell. It also says ring also. I don't know. I don't ask questions. Uh, we can look inside, you can see a cute curtain. Uh, we could hit this, I don't, or we can examine it. I could have sworn we could hit this too, but maybe not. So we can't get this puzzle piece just yet, which is unfortunate. But don't worry, we will be able to get it once we have certain growth abilities. So let's go ahead and talk to Pooh. Oh. Hey Pooh Bear, how you doing? Finding enough honey lately? Oh yes. In fact, I was just about to do my stoutness exercises. Would you like to join me, Sora? Sure, I'm game. Huh? Ah! Well, that's not good. Did you bring the book, Sora? Hey! What's that thing? Uh-oh. Now we need to defeat the Heartless. So we are thrown out of the book. And good good timing, too. So I'm going to use our fire spell here, which is actually just really great. It's different than the first one. I think that's the first time that we've actually used it. So you can go ahead and use this right here. And we'll just go ahead and it'll actually create an AoE around you, just like that. Which will pretty much destroy all of the Heartless that are around you. I highly recommend using fire. Unfortunately, this is the first time we've done so. Think it's okay? Gorge, maybe you better go back and make sure Pooh's all right. But what about Merlin? Well, I guess we could explain. Great. Oh, no. Everything's gone, guys. Everything is gone. We have a save point here. We have the way to leave here. But everything else has just been wiped off. Well, let's go see what Pooh's doing. Pooh Bear's house. Pooh.
Nothing new, so let's go ahead and talk to Pooh. I'm so glad you're okay, Pooh. And I'm glad you came to visit. But you see, I was just about to begin my stoutness exercises. Perhaps we could visit a bit later. Somebody I don't know. Oh, sure. So, how's Piglet these days? I don't think I know anyone by that name. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, my stoutness exercises. Pooh? Hey, Pooh? Something very weird is happening here. Maybe I better go back and ask Merlin about this. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's a good idea. Couldn't be bothered to wait for an old wizard, eh? Sorry about that. How are things in there? Uh, not good, my friend, not good. Well, Pooh seems to have forgotten all about me, and not just me, all his other friends, too. I was afraid of that. What? He didn't forget about us at first, though. That's worth mentioning. I suspect it has something to do with those pages the Heartless stole yet again. You'll have to collect the torn pages, throwback, and repair, to, repair the book to put things right. Throwback to Kingdom Hearts 1. This book is one of the world's most treasured elements. I'd been meaning to tell Leon I'd found it, but perhaps we should keep it between us for now. We will! Good, good. Right, I'm gonna go tell Leon. Leon, I'm gonna go run and tell him. Now, the book isn't all that's cherished. This is for you, Sora. What is it? Simply concentrate on, on it with all your heart, and you need only say the word to summon an ally who will help in times of need, like Simba and Mushu did the last time we were here. Precisely. Now go forth with your friends by your side. Thanks, Merlin. We're worried about Pooh, so we'll be back once we found those torn pages. And we will get the baseball charm, which will allow us to summon Chicken Little for a helping hand. Now, speedrunners have uh, different strategies that they use to actually abuse the poop out of this. Now, this does consume your drive gauge, so that is worth mentioning and that is worth keeping in mind as you proceed forward. Now, we find ourselves here on the world map area. And we've already gone to Beast Castle, we've already gone to Land of Dragons, so the only place that we have left to go to here is Phantom Storm, uh, which will lead to whatever this world is here. It looks pretty golden, kind of like a coliseum, atop maybe a mountain called Olympus. Yeah, we can head to Olympus Coliseum. So we do have some new uh, things that we have. We have the Falcon level 2 here, we have the High Wind level 2. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the... High wind level two, just because like we have one, might as well, right? So you guys pretty much uh, unanimously, at least those who commented on the last video, said to uh, you didn't mind if I left this in or sped it up. So because this episode is kind of a weird one, because it's kind of in the middle there, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now we are going to go ahead and do this, uh, just so we can do this. Now somebody did mention that in in the comments, anyways, uh, that you can actually set it to auto fire just by holding down X. Right now we'll actually charge attacks. Uh, you can actually just hold it down to be able to do it. So this is Phantom Storm. This one's pretty cool. You will notice that there is a pirate ship there. Well, guess what? We will deal with that soon. But first, let's deal with all of these guys who are nobodies? I guess. I guess those are nobodies, even though they look kind of heartlessy. I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, you got to watch out for those. Don't hit those. Uh, unfortunately, that's the only one I got. Now, we did get hit by that, but that's okay. Ah, there we go. There's the pirate ship. So this one is basically a kind of a, a boss fight, if you will. So you need to attack certain parts. So we'll go ahead and attack this wheel as much as we possibly can. And hopefully we'll be able to actually burst it off, if I'm not mistaken. It should. There we go. And that will give us a ton of stuff. And then we can go ahead and hit some of these. Get rid of these cannons so they stop shooting at us, which is real nice. Uh, we can also shoot this one as well, this wheel as well, which is what I'm going to focus on just by shooting this make sure we do some damage to this ship get as much as we can i don't know if we'll be able to pop it off we should be able to pop this off pretty quickly there we go and we will be able to take them down and then we can focus on everybody else now there are other things that you can hit like these cannons you like i said you can hit all those they will come back so it's not a huge deal the ones on top you can also hit and destroy and blow off uh which is which is good because they they can do some damage uh but more importantly we need to make sure that we hit these big ones here uh because those will send those which will do a tremendous amount of damage uh unfortunately we weren't really able to get out of that but this is what i mean is like this isn't hard 
but it starts to get a little more challenging uh, the, the more you go, the further you go. So unfortunately, we need like all of this health because we're already pretty damn low. Um, this is one of the harder ones that you're going to do, at least so far, right? Like we're already we're already so low on health uh, just because just because like we couldn't get rid of these cannons in time. Uh, but that's okay. We can go ahead and do these, and we'll we'll still be getting some health and. And hopefully try to be taking care of these, but there's just so many cannons, and you just need to be moving as much as you possibly can, which uh, I obviously did not do as well as I would have liked in that regard. So we'll go ahead and charge that, and that will actually get rid of most of these, and then we can just go ahead and, and destroy these. Uh, our health is okay, uh, and then we can go ahead and destroy these. Again, these wheels is what you want to destroy. You want to get rid of those as quickly as possible, and maybe not get destroyed by these guys as well, uh, which you can easily just dodge. You don't have to actually fight them. Now, again, this is something that you're not going to be able to get the top score of in this. Like, we're already done fighting the thing, and we actually weren't even able to get as much damage as I would have liked in on him. Uh, Alright, so now this is not good, because now we're getting hit, and everything else is happening, and, and uh, those other these guys will hold us down, which they're doing right now, which is not good for us. Uh, we can go ahead and try to see if we can do this. I think we can do this, though. You get so much health that, like... You can pretty much do whatever you want and be fine. We got a square light there. Uh, let's see if we can grab another gummy here because gummies are always worth doing. We got a thruster G. Perfect. Uh, and of course, you can kill this ship. You can potentially do it. Right now, we just can't do it because of the way the way that this, uh, this gummy ship mission works at this point. Later on, though, we'll be able to do it no problem. And we cleared it. Let's go through this awesome looking tunnel. To the next world we have to go to. We did it! And now missions level one and two unlocked. And we get the High Winds level three blueprint. Always good. And we get the Teeny system. And now, forever and always, we can head to this world. You know what I, my favorite part about this game? Is I don't have to go to like, I don't have to go here to go here. I can just fly over and choose to go to Olympus Coliseum. Sure, this is the Coliseum? It's that way! Oh, guess we were a little off. Ah! Heartless! These are a new type of Heartless, too, uh, which is worth mentioning now. This is a very, very different, very different Olympus Coliseum than in the first game. It's almost like an entirely new world. There are still the things that we remember, there's still the tournaments and everything, and we will talk about those, but uh, this is pretty important too, by the way, because now we do have access to new, uh, new weapons for both Donald and Goofy. So we'll get the Comet Staff for, uh, for Donald, and we will get the Falling Star for Goofy, make them a little bit stronger. You can buy some potions if you're running low, we're, we're okay. Uh, let's go and hand over all of our synthesizing stuff, we'll gain a AP boost for completing the collection, and a Serenity Shard for completing the sec uh, thing, and we handed over all of our recipes, so that's pretty cool. We can actually see our recipes now, we have Mega Potions that we can now craft with a Lucid Shard, Blazing Shard, a Power Shard, and a Mithril Shard, and Drive Recovery, which we can make plenty of. I can actually really only make two, uh, but then you can see everything and blah, blah, blah. Uh, we don't really need to worry about that right now. Again, we could also sell stuff if we wanted. We're not going to worry about that either. Let's actually go ahead and equip these before I forget uh, on onto Donald and Goofy. So let's go ahead and put his Comet Staff on. That's going to help him uh, quite a bit, actually. And then for Goofy, we'll go ahead and equip oop, uh, the Falling Star. We could potentially get them more uh, accessories and stuff. But I think we're okay. We could equip the Hidden Dragon, but like I said, it's just not very good um, on our Sora. It's better on others. Hidden Dragon, you could end up grabbing for your uh, Valor form, but I, again, don't really think it's worth it. Uh, Baseball Charm, we do have that. And Serenity Shard, which is brand new synthesizing item as well. 
Uh, and, oh, I, we also got new abilities that we can check out real quick. So we got Retaliating Slash, uh, which I didn't equip earlier. We can equip that. When knocked down, quickly regains balance and counterattacks with uh, Square. And we also got Damage Drive, which will just help boost our drive a lot, lot faster. Every time we get hit, we will increase our drive. So let's go ahead and talk to Megabach. Thanks, but I'm fine. And you're supposed to be? I'm Sora. He's Donald, and that's Goofy. We came to see how Hercules is doing. You know Wonder Boy? Yeah, cause we're heroes too. <laughs> you mean junior heroes, Donald? <laughs> Looks like we have a friend in common. Name's Megara. My friends call me Meg. I love Meg. Love Meg. So how's Herc? Wonder Boy? Well, he's duking it out at the Coliseum every day. You know, a hero's work is never done and all that. He's ready to drop, but he keeps on fighting. Even Wonder Boy has his limits, though. These opponents are bad news. Special deliveries from Hades himself. Hades? Right, Lord of the Underworld? I was on my way to see him. Maybe I can get Hades to give Wonder Boy a breather. If anything happened to that kid... She loves him. Sounds like you're more than just friends. Oh, uh, I mean... <laughs> We'll go have a little talk with Hades. I'd hate for anything to happen to you on your way to see him. You really want to do that? Well, it looks like you know what you're doing. I guess I'll take you up on that offer. But let's keep this whole chat with Hades thing our little secret, okay? Our lips are sealed. Okay, so we met Meg. This is the first time we met Meg. We didn't meet her in uh, in the first game at all. We can't go this way because there's some, some fire blocking our way. The flames prevent passage. We could go up to the actual Olympus Coliseum, but uh, that's not where we need to go. So let's go ahead and save real quick. All right. Now that we're saved, we can go ahead and check out this door that she was heading towards. The one that leads to Hades. Potentially? Cave of the Dead entrance. This is what's different. Is this, you know, this obviously was not in the, uh, ooh, look at the, these little things, they'll drop MP. Also, we have another puzzle piece here that we can grab, which is a heart puzzle piece. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, uh, we are actually getting pretty damn far into our puzzle pieces for the heart. So let's go ahead and look at that real quick. Puzzle mode, hearts. Ah. Not, not quite. Not quite. I mean, we can put this where it goes, right? Uh, I think, I think this one goes here. And then I think this one goes, uh, probably here. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks about right. Uh, Awakening, we, we finished this. We got the AP boost. Oh, that was weird. Uh, I don't know why that, I don't know why that happened. All right, now, these are new Heartless called, or uh, Rapid Dogs is what they are called. They are very, very easy to kill. You do not have to worry about them at all. Uh, using fire, honestly, will get rid of almost all of them. Now, we can look around and see that there, this is a big, empty room with nothing really in it. Just thought I would point that out. A lot of, a lot of big emptiness here. I love, I love this part of the world. I think it's, it's just so cool. The open yeah. And it looks like we're not alone. It looks like the organization is here. So in this our area, you do have to watch out, not only for Heartless, but for falling rocks. I mean, you, you can watch out for them. You can not, you'll be fine. I have faith in you. I have faith in you, viewer slash player. You're probably fine. All right, so just watch them. You can see where they're about to fall, too, because you can see the the ground. Like, you can see the... You know what I'm saying? Oh, and there's also Lance Knights here that we met over at Beast Castle. So that was not a Beast Castle exclusive like the statues were. I believe that's the only uh, exclusive. Right here, we can grab an item, which is a Mithril Shard. Again, that is needed for synthesizing. And right over here, we can find another chest, which is going to have probably some pretty good stuff in it. We can go ahead and pick up a um, Ether... Uh, an ether is not bad. That restores MP. I think that's our first one that we've discovered in the game so far. Uh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Woo! Alright, let's go ahead and use Cure. There we go. Ah, uh, isn't it nice to have Cure now? Cool. I got stuck in that combo, man. That's what happens on crit. Critical. And you'll notice that we lost Donald in that fight. So right there, we'll get an AP boost. Uh, and then we can go down this path as well. It's actually both leads to the same, the same way. Uh, now we don't have any MP, so we can't actually use that to kill these guys, but that's okay. I would normally just use fire on them, but we can use, we can get these bubbles to, to get more MP. 
And you will notice that we cannot use our drive gauge. I don't know if you noticed that, which means we cannot use summons. I cannot show you the chicken little summon that we got. I cannot show you uh, Valor form. I can't even level up Valor form, which is not that fun. But that is something that's worth mentioning. That is completely locked for us down here in uh, in the underworld. Probably has something to do with like it's just being like too much darkness. I don't know. There's a reason. There's a reason for it. I'm gonna use Cure real quick. That is why Cure is so useful, guys. Oh my god, it's so useful. Especially on critical mode. Like, always have Cure shortcut. Alright, and there we got another Mithril Stone. That's awesome. We can't go down into here, but where we can go is, uh... It's right down here. Run, run away! Okay... I could not have said that better myself, Sora. Ooh, what is that? What is this? What's the deal with this book? It looks like it's called Absent Silhouettes. Are you sure you want to touch that? You can't be too careful in the underworld. You're right, it might be a trap of some sort. Huh. Let's go ahead and pick that up. It's an unfamiliar book, the title is Absent Silhouettes. Apparently we can't do anything with it though. Interesting. Right here we can grab this chest which of course is going to have a map in it. Which is a under underworld map. We can also go and collect this chest as well. Uh, might as well while we are here. There we go. We got a mithril shard. Uh, I believe that's all the items you can get. Back here leads to the Cave of the Dead passage. Uh, so, this absent silhouette was not here in Kingdom Hearts 2. It was introduced in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, and again, in this version of the game. You can also come back here and buy some stuff if you so choose. If for whatever reason you're running a little low, uh, you can turn in your synthesizing items. Whatever. Uh, but, this is a wonderful time to actually end this episode. We have a save point right here, we have, uh, some stuff. Uh, this is really important, but I don't want to get into it right now because... There's nothing really I can do, and anyways, I won't get into it, but that, remember that location, it's very important. The next place that we can go to is right through there. We, in the next episode, are going to confront Hades and see what he's doing to Hercules. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to drop it a like. It really does help me out. Uh, leave me a comment below letting me know who your favorite uh, character is from the world of Hercules. My favorite is, uh, is, is definitely Hades. I think James Woods is a brilliant voice actor so uh hades has always been my favorite but let me know showing up on screen right now is a patreon button you can click that for just a dollar a month you can get early access to these videos for three dollars you get to choose what i play next uh also showing up on screen is a video that youtube has chosen specifically for you and the playlist for kingdom hearts 2 on critical mode thank you for watching and remember never give up never surrender to the underworld